And just like that, we're in a different city, or I guess this would be a town because it's pretty small. But as you can see behind me, it's all RVs on the street. But that's because it's free RV parking. Apparently this town set this up to draw in tourists. So we're gonna take a little walk and see what it looks like. And it's got a beautiful view of the water. And it smells like lumber here because it's a logging company or a lumber company, whatever you want to call it. But we're going to go take a walk and see what else is down here. There it is again, free RV parking with a view. Don't mind if I do. Well, so far my impression of this town is that it's very cute. And it's also known for having painted murals all over the sides of buildings. So let's take a little look, take a little walk around and see what it looks like. And of course, no small town is complete without a Christmas store. There's even a big mural over here on the theater, which is a nice looking building. Even in the little town of Shimanus, we've got the cannabis company opening soon. Here's another type of tree that I've never seen before. I've seen similar trees, but nothing like this. Very pretty. And yep, I guess they're right. There is literally murals on the side of almost every single building. Welcome to Shimanus, world famous murals. Well, if this isn't beautiful, I don't know what is and all the moss growing along that wheel. Beautiful. Here's another type of tree that I've never seen. I don't know what they are, but they sure look neat. Just like this building or house or whatever it is. Somebody's shed? Hmm. Well, we're almost down to the water. We made it down here to the ocean. Some big boats out there waiting for their load. And surprisingly, the water is actually really clear. Minus all the debris floating in it. What a super cute little town though this is. I'm loving it. Again with these trees. There is just so many types of trees that I've never seen before. Look how cool it is. I'm loving it. Okay, we're gonna take Patrick back his pot from last night's dinner. Preshi, I'll be right back. You have to stay here because we're also, I think, gonna take a walk and see if we can find the grocery store. Stay. So, off we go. Ow! Son of a, I just walked into whatever that is. Some type of wild berries or something. Of course I screwed up my favorite pants. Son of a. Okay, well, we walked to what I thought was the grocery store, but it was more like a convenience store, so... Chocolate milk and, uh, what did I get? Oh, a lemon bar or something. And a pizza bun, but I already ate it. <laughs> Anyways, back to the RV we go. So, we're just walking past the museum, and Patrick just pointed out to me that all the posts are carved into different animals. This one appears to be a bear. Next we've got an eagle. And then some fish. And last but not least, I don't know. I'm gonna say maybe a Canadian goose. Another beautiful view over here at the museum. Can't tell, but we're parked just back behind those trees. If 
We've got some more beautiful artwork over here. We passed many Indian villages on our way down the coast. The Indian people and their art touched me deeply. Hmm. It's beautiful. Well, I'm just getting back to the RV. <laughs> And, uh, yep, the RV parking on this side of the road is now full. Yep, we've got a deer right outside the door. There's my door, and there's the deer. So, I'm hanging out the RV window because I'm watching the deer. <laughs> and Precious has now noticed that they're out here and is obsessed with them. She's literally, I don't know if it's coming on the camera, but she's literally quivering. Her whole body is shaking. Precious, what are you even going to do with them? Oi. What are you going to do with them? They're way bigger than you. <laughs> you are a weirdo. Stop shaking. <laughs> well, guys, it is a cold, wet Vancouver Island morning. So I'm walking over to the bakery because they have some pizza buns over there. I got one yesterday and they're delicious. So I'm craving another one. The thing some people will do to try and get level. This thing is so far up in the air that uh, even the back wheels are off the ground. Oh boy. Patrick's running back because he forgot his bank card. But you can see it's a pretty typical fall day here on Vancouver Island, I'm sure. Very wet and uh, not overly warm either. Here's more RV parking spots just down the road. These ones are not not uh, not the most level spots though, so that's why we didn't park down here. We're gonna go up these stairs and uh, eventually we'll get to the bakery. And here we are at the bakery, so hopefully they got some goodies for us. Well, it's another day. Blue skies and sunshine, so I am a happy guy. Anyways, somehow throughout the night, I ran out of propane. So everything in the fridge went bad, everything in the freezer went bad, and there's no heat. So, our next stop is going to be a propane station. Unfortunately, <laughs> this cute little town doesn't have a propane station. So, we're heading into Duncan, which is about 15 or 20 minutes from here. So, away we go. Well, you can kind of see the top of that mountain there. Got some snow last night. Okay, I know what some of you are thinking. And yes, when I said in a couple videos back that I have a fast food addiction, I was being pretty serious. I just drove 20 minutes out of my way to get a chicken McMuffin and it was delicious. But we're leaving here and heading to Walmart because I need to replace everything that was in my freezer that went bad. So off to the Walmart. Okay, so while I'm in town, I ran into the Home Depot and uh, she's just mixing up some paint for me so that I can finish with the bedroom wall where I uh, took those old beds out. And uh, they have a few roller blinds on clearance. So I wanted to get one more for inside the RV, but uh, I'm gonna run back to the RV now and measure it and see if it will work. Wish us luck. Nana, I'm coming. Well, it's another beautiful drive. Nice clear skies. Some mountains in the distance. But we don't have very far to go. Only about 15 more kilometers and then we'll be back at the parking spot where Patrick is. 
And just like that, we're back where we started this morning. So there's someone in front of me and then Patrick is in front of that adventurer that's in front of me. Beautiful day today. I'm just sitting here, taking it all in. You can see the snow-capped mountains off in the distance. Beautiful today. Those mountains over there got some snow last night too. Well guys, I'm just sitting here, taking it all in like I just said watching the uh, ferry go back and forth and the mountains in the background it is beautiful but uh, I think I'm going to end it right here and uh, I probably should get up off my butt and go and uh, try and scare Patrick maybe <laughs> it doesn't take much to scare me so you know he just walks up and taps my window sometimes and I'm like oh my god <laughs> so uh, maybe I'll go and uh, reverse it and try and scare him because I'm not sure if he knows that I'm back yet or not. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Go ahead and give the video a like if you want. Leave a comment and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye for now.